So, if the ship broke apart in orbit, they should be near. Okay, so, second here is the thorn bushes. Weapons, bullets, I got them. <sighs> Some weird things out there I've had the displeasure to run away from. Not to pry, but you got some mighty fine things. Care to trade any? <sighs> Only this console could play some politics. I didn't 
entering this. This shouldn't have happened. That's settled. Did Miss Rucker have any other requests I could help with? Oh, well, hello, darling. A pleasure to meet another guest of our fine establishment. I am Orlando, your host and management liaison. If you'll pardon me for just one moment, that will be all. Please give my regards to Miss Rucker. If you are here for leisure, I regret to inform you that our regular resort activities are temporarily unavailable. However, if you are here for the refuge and the fine work of the lovely responders, I am delighted to welcome you on their behalf. Perhaps you have not heard. The White Spring is now home to the Refuge, a place of safety and care for all in need. The Refuge is being run by the responders, individuals committed to the well-being of their fellows. They founded the Refuge in response to new waves of refugees coming to Appalachia, people in great need of help. Food, medical care, clothing, a place to sleep. All of these are available for those who need them. What a wonderful thing for you to ask, darling. I knew there was something the special about you from the moment I saw decadent. you. Don't listen to As it happens, things. the responders are looking for volunteers to assist them in a particular outreach effort. Those industrious wonders have repaired a vertebrate to full working order and are using it to make contact with more distant settlements. They've made allies with people in Pittsburgh, the locals call it the pit now, who seem to be in dire need of outside assistance. If you don't mind me saying so, you look like you can handle yourself. You might be just who they're looking for. Well, they'll be better able to explain the details, but I believe they're looking for fighters, actually. Their contacts in the pit are in something of a desperate situation, it seems, against a dangerous enemy. I hate the thought of you putting yourself in such danger, but it does appear to be for a good cause. Judging by what I've heard, it's an accurate one, sadly. Pittsburgh was bombed they quite severely during the war. The poor individuals still living there have renamed it to better reflect its help. dreadful Don't circumstances. They call themselves the Union, 
something of a resistance movement, I understand, against more aggressive forces. One of their representatives is currently staying with us, a Mr. Skippy Roridge. Delightful man. Indeed, isn't that marvelous? They salvaged it and painstakingly repaired it. It's fully functional now. I was very pleased to be able to contribute to this effort in my own small way. If you wish to see it, it resides on the roof of the refuge between flights, along with its charming pilot, Ms. Lennox. Oh, you're terribly brave, aren't you, dear? Imagine if we all had such courage. Now, darling, before anybody bundles you off, the first thing you should do is introduce yourself to some of the responders. I just so happen to know a few in need of more local assistance, and helping them will earn you the other thing you'll need. That other thing being, of course, their trust. The vertebrae does belong to them, after all. Our lovely Ms. Rucker is the closest thing to a leader the refuge has, though I believe she's less than comfortable with the title. You can find her in their headquarters, beyond the dining area. The darling chef, Miss Rousseau, needs some assistance in the kitchen, I hear. And Ms. Wagner, over in the common area, is looking for donations. I'm sure your generosity will be well rewarded. Wonderful, my dear. I'm certain you will be a tremendous help to them and the refuge. When you are finished with each of them, I recommend you speak with Mr. Skippy Rorich, the pit union representative. I imagine he'll want to discuss the situation in the pit with you before you embark. Do feel free to visit me at your leisure if you wish to chat. I have an office in the management wing. You can't miss it. doesn't matter. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for Meg. Wow, they really got us up here. Nothing but a problem. All it's doing is encouraging new people to come to Appalachia. Sickly people. If they're too weak to make it on their own, then maybe they shouldn't be the ones to survive. Sure, whatever. Any idea where Orlando gets their clothes? I swear, I could do with a wardrobe. It's been sunny all week. I love it here. There, stranger. Pleased to meet you. I'm Sophie, Sophie Wagner. Look around. The refuge. Quite a place, isn't it? I mean, sure, fancy pants, golf club, resort, that's nice, but I'm talking about the refuge. A haven for the lost, the dispossessed, the hungry, and unfortunate. A monument to our ability to have compassion for each other. Isn't it grand? Isn't it worth preserving, building, growing? Now that's what I'm talking about. People supporting each other. You got the right spirit. 
I heard a bunch of nerds Rucker's put me in charge of running a bit of a donation drive. Aren't there more Have you met Rucker? She's amazing, you should. Anyway, it might surprise you to know an operation like this is always churning through supplies. We work hard to keep things in stock, and that funny Orlando character does their best to help out as well, but well, we still have shortfalls. So here I am, asking generous folks such as yourself to help us fill in those gaps and keep the refuge running. Bind, you can always call on us. Let me check my notes. Rucker's been in a tizzy because we just don't have enough wood to keep up. It'd be a big help if you could donate maybe 50 pieces of scrap. One less thing on Rucker's mind, you know. You're always in my thoughts. It's been sunny all week. I love it here. That's okay. Who just carries that around in their pockets or whatever, right? I'll be here all day, though. If you want to come back, bring it by later. If you can, of course, you know where to find me. It'd really make my day if you did. I think I heard a Protectron bark the other day. Am I going crazy? Glad to see you've returned. Are you ready to donate? There's times you've got to accept the cards you were dealt and learn to make the best of it. Well, trees. Lots of fallen trees around. And anything made of wood, really. If it's even partly made of wood, you can scrap it. That's okay. Come back if you're ready to donate. I bet power on the train is tough. Not that scrap tree is an or two. really is a drink, but Rutger wants us sober on the job. If you see anyone struggling out in Appalachia, be sure to tell them about the White Spring. I was out scavenging for food earlier. Only got attacked by Scorched once. Sorry I'm not much for conversation. Allison talked my ear off. Glad to see you've returned. Are you ready to donate? You do? Amazing. Thank you so much. This is going to be a big help. It just so happens I got a little something for you as a reward for your generosity. We might need a lot of things, but you know how it is. Poor in one way, rich in another. I'll put together some of what we can spare for you. And I've got a feeling you're going to need them. See? Mutual aid. Everybody wins. Thanks so much for the help. Drop by again. If I know Rucker, I'll be looking for something new every day. Take care of yourself. Helping people is our chief mission. Cool uniforms are just a nice bonus. My friends didn't want to join up with me. Said the responders sounded like too much work. Need anything? Filled with people trying to help others. It feels like I've died and gone to heaven. There's a lot of supplies here that look ripe for the picking. Cleaning this place up actually. My name is Esme Rousseau, but most people around here know me. Bonjour. 
My name is Esme Rousseau, but most people around here know me as Chef Esme. We've had some representatives from Foundation and Crater come here seeking assistance with the recent influx of refugees. I thought that we could help them out by providing some food for their people. I've started a pot of bénisson and Tito stew, one of my newest creations. Would you be able to help me finish it? How wonderful! I can't wait to whip up something delicious for everyone! The stew requires tetos, venison, salt, black pepper, and carrots. The ingredients can be found in our storage area. Your job is to grab the ingredients and put them in before the stew burns. Super! Let's have you start by stirring the stew, which will help keep it from burning. Remember to continuously stir during the cooking process. My friend, I hope you will stop by and join us Mon chéri, you look hungry. Please come sit and eat. Robot butlers? This is a refuge or a palace. Did this wanton robot try to give me a haircut before running off? It's a shame. Reservations required. Help yourself to any table. Fantastic! Let's get the first of the ingredients and prepare them. You're looking for carrots, potatoes, and the pièce de résistance, the venison. Esme's cooking. It's been so long since I've had food with actual <sighs> Pardon our dust. happened in Morgantown. I know it was way back, Ooh, they are but I'm glad they chose to send me somewhere safe a tree. and not somewhere... Oh my God. You think with all that tinkering Skippy does that he'd have come up with something more medicinal. Sure, make my job easier. My friend, I hope you will stop by and join us for dinner sometime. Oh, me? Of course. What would you like to know?
pretty bold choice. If you're caught out and about with no place to go, the responders have an outpost in Flatwoods. Oh no, the stew has burned. Do not be discouraged though. Without failure, there is no improvement. Here is your stew. Something is better than nothing, yes? Hopefully, either the settler or radio representative will find some use for this. I last saw them in the bar area. There's no problem too big to solve. I heard a bunch of nerds arguing over comic books. You have anything to do with this place? We got a bunch of people coming into Crater. Trying to eat all our food. You think we eat garbage or something in Crater? What a joke. Due to the risk of exploding glassware, mixed drink. Considering all the places I could have ended up, I'm extremely lucky. Problem too big to solve. Well, shouldn't have made it coming in tomorrow. Get some. Well, seems like timing is one of your strong suits. Look, I can stitch up a gash with the best of them. But Appalachia, well, she can do a lot worse than cut us open. Cut a lot of folks here with sickness we don't understand. And injuries we don't know how to treat. What we need more than anything is know-how. So I propose we trade what I got that I don't need for what you need that you don't got. I've heard you're looking ahead into the pit, and the only safe way out of Appalachia is that metal bird Lennox has perched up on the roof. She don't fly without my approval, and right now, you ain't got it. So, that's the deal. You bring back medical information that'll help me figure out how to help these folks, and I'll okay your little expedition. Hope you don't mind heading into the mire. So talk to me. You in? Nice. Well, let's get to it then. Anything you're able to find, go ahead and bring it back to our lead medic. I'll let her know to look for you. Good luck out there. I know it was way back, but I'm glad they chose to send me somewhere safe and not somewhere... Stomping in the chat? I'm not complaining. Folks, don't join the responders for caps. They join to make a difference.
Squire Rosen, Thunder Mountain is offline. Repeat, Thunder Mountain is offline. Any brothers with a background in engineering, report to the plant for immediate repairs. something you're hiding game <laughs>
Don't like the fog. Even just a mist makes it harder to see. Hmm. I know a guy who could fix that. Seems like it's always cloudy. setting up places like Foundation. It's just about time to eat. I'm not sure what they're after. Don't stop at nothing. We were outnumbered and about to be slaughtered. Before you stepped in. Great. Now it's gonna be pouring down rain. <laughs> Thank you. 
worthy of assistance. Sensor alert. Rucker said you were helping us out. I hope you were able to track down the surgical equipment plans. These plans are really detailed. With any luck, we'll be able to convince Skippy to help us put some of these together. Thanks for getting this back to us. The responders won't forget it. Why you bother helping people who can't help themselves? arguing over comic book heroes yesterday. Uh, aren't there more important things to worry about? A lot of nightmares lately. Do you think it's all this? Hey there, sport. What brings you back my way? That's right, looking for someone to help us take the fight to the fanatics. Surprise, we got a taker, actually. You are interested, right? The Union's back's against the wall. We're doing our best to hold off the fanatics. Keep them from taking everything. Occasionally, we win some small victories, but not a lot. Got a couple of situations back there right now where an extra hand might tip things in our favor, at least for now. I don't want to call it mercenary work, but I'm not gonna lie. You'll be going there to fight. Fantastic. Let me just get Rucker in here. It's her bird, after all. Thanks for coming by, Rucker. Looks like we got a volunteer to take a trip out to the pit. We've met. 
Had a feeling you might be up for this when you came by earlier. Guess I was right. Figured you should be involved if we're gonna borrow your plane. Don't let Lennox hear you call it a plane. She takes it personally. Anyway, sure thing. You've done right by me. So you've got the okay for me. Sophie and Esme tell me you helped them out too. So as far as the responders are concerned, you're good to go. Well, we got two different locals I know are in need of help. Locals are what we call union groups that act independently. Local 42's in the industrial district. Hex, their leader, is struggling to keep her people alive and retake a foundry from the fanatics. We got another over in the trench working against a fanatic forced labor camp. Danilo is your contact there. Haven't heard from the other locals recently, but I'm sure we'll be hearing from them if they got trouble too. It's up to you who you want to help right now. Maybe you'll consider going back again later for the other.